Hello guys, this is just a funny question. What will you do with one million dollar? You know, there are two types of people in terms of money. And I will, you will understand why I ask this question. First, because people, they always, here, in, especially in America, they always speak about one million. They don't say, for example, $2 million or $10 million or $20 million or $1 billion. Or they say, what do you do with $100,000 or $500,000? But they always say $1 million. But in terms of life, right now with this inflation and this stuff, it's, it's just nothing. It's not a big, big deal. Now, if you give $1 million, let's say, to 100 persons, or 1,000 person. Okay, you give each one, you give them $1 million. After one year, what will happen? Let's drink some coffee. <clears throat> Believe me, most of the people, they will lose this money. It doesn't mean they lose, they throw it. No, but they spend it. Because in their mind, what do you have? Laziness and spending money. These two things, which um, crushes the person's dreams. Okay? This habit, two habits. Laziness. Laziness, it means <clears throat> you don't want to change. I'm, I'm not speaking about laziness. You want to... You work hard and then you take time watching a TV or going to watch a movie or hiking or fishing or doing whatever you want to do. I'm not speaking about that. You say lazy. No. Laziness, it means for me, the incapability of setting goals or setting dreams. In other words, when you are lazy, you don't think to change your life. You're always the same. You have, let's say you have a job. Whatever is the job, is a good job, bad job, odd job. I don't care what is this job. It's, you have a job. But you, if you think you can do whatever business and you can have more money. And then when you have more money, you can have more time because we have worked so hard in this business and this most of the people they don't like it's not they don't like money but they don't like the job associated with money in order to make money you should work hard at first especially at first okay now what we say is laziness laziness is the state of mind where you want to do little, let, let's say you go to work, you have eight hours, you do whatever is your work. I'm not speaking about which work is, odd job or good job or wherever is job. You just do your job and then you come lay against the TV and watch your favorite series. You watch the games, um, you watch movies and you spend this four, five, six, seven hours watching, uh, Facebooking. Okay, Facebook now is the, uh, is the most important thing in our lives. So you just take Facebook and you just search, search, search. You, as if you are searching for business information. Okay, you are just wasting your time. So this is what we call laziness. Okay, then the inability to change. Always we have the same thing. When you are 20, you do the same job. You are 30, the same, 60, the same, 80, the same, and then you die. You do nothing. Just you do something and then you just all your time is wasted all your life. And then you think about the other people, few people in the, in the society that they succeed. They think success is just granted to them. It is not granted. In business, you should work hard in order to make money and to make, uh, to make something. Okay. So you say, if someone is given $1 million, what do you 
you think you do with one million dollar? This is a question for you. I'm just I'm just asking you a question. Okay? I know you have something in your mind. You say I will one million dollar is one million dollar. I will do this and this and this until the money ends. Okay? If it is all what you think of is spending. Spending, some spending are nice. Let's say, for example, you tell me, oh, the first thing I do is I buy house. Okay, this is a good thing. Now, a good thing if you are, if you want to settle down, to settle in a city or to settle in a, in a neighborhood, or you mean you want to settle. This is why you buy a house. You buy a car. You need the car for everything. If you are living in big cities like New York or something, sometimes you don't need even a car. So, now, if you are going to spend all your money just doing things that you like, by the end of the year, you will have no money. And this is what most of the people do. It means when they have money, they can't save it. They can't invest it in something that will bring them more than one million. And this is, uh, this is the way I try to explain to you that if you have these two qualities, spending money and laziness, Okay? You will never succeed and you will never make money in the market or in any business. Okay? This is general. I'm not speaking about trading or about something. I'm speaking about general thing. Now, if someone is given $1, one million dollar and he has an idea of a business, clear idea, or he knows how to do. Let's say, for example, someone... Uh, he dreams to have a chain of restaurants. Restaurants. Okay? Whenever he gets the money, he tries to make his dream true. Okay, he likes restaurants. He has experience. He knows how to run a restaurant because he has run before to other people. He works for other people. So he makes his own restaurant or pizza, pizzeria or anything else or any kind of business or the car dealership or any any businesses that are that doesn't take too much money from the person. And you you begin work. Okay? If you do so, you you are into what we call you have a business mind. A business. It means you want to grow your money. And then if you have one million dollar after five years, you can, have, uh, you can have five million, you can have ten million, you can have billion, like the other people do. Okay? It means this ability to think in business. That's why most of the people, they don't have this state, a business state of mind. It means they don't think in terms of business. They think otherwise in terms of spending and laziness. Okay? They just spend money, spend money, spend money. Even if you give them one million dollars, they will spend it. Okay? They will never set goals to the future or make a business. Or and then when you make a business, when you have money, there you can travel. You can have all your uh, dreams come true. It means and you are stable in your in your money, in your business. You can travel as you like. Because you will have other people working for you instead of you working for other people. That's why you should think about yourself. Are you into a business or are you into laziness and spending money? Okay? Most of the people are the second choice, which is spending and laziness. Most of the people. Okay, that's why whatever you have as money right now from your job, you will never save, you will never invest, you will never think really in terms of business. 
That's why you find most of the people at the end of their life, they find uh, what you call a miserable life. It means, uh, check our society, for example, right now. <clears throat> in America, especially in America, not other countries. Where you find people, 75, 80, 85, and they are still working. And you ask the question, why you work to this age? It means you are so old. I know you can make it, you can work, but why you are working at this age? If you are having your own business, it's okay because we have a lot of people working for you. You can take a vacation, you can take a rest, you can do whatever you want. But when you, you rely on this small money to live at the end of your life, this is the problem. This is a really problem here in America, where the people, they stay, oh, they say, you live better. Oh, you go to work. But other countries, their retirement is just, uh, let's say, uh, 60 or at the least is 65 years. And you stop. You have money from, from your uh, retirement plan or pension or government thing. And you live without needing to have a job. Okay? It's just because almost all the people in their life, they don't think about to make a business. To be on your feet and to do something. They don't like to risk into in order to make more money they want just a sure thing oh i work one hour i get this so i'm okay with that but but believe me if you don't work what will happen your money is gone okay that's why you should think from now to the future and we have either two people we don't have three kind of people, two people only. There is one people or one person who thinks about investing, making a business, any kind of business. I'm not speaking here about trading or investing in the long run or no. I'm speaking about any business. You should have in mind some kind of business. Now you, I know, you told me I don't know nothing, but you, there is something that will interest you if you search. In all the millions of kind of business, you can even start your idea and your business and you make it. Okay? Because business is, is, just, is just some idea that you have in your mind and you want to make it real. Now, if you get a loan from the government or from the bank or something and you just start and begin to do business. Now, the second type of people are people who are who wants to have a sure thing now? And this is what we call a job. A sure thing. You go, you go for doing an application, you apply for a job, and you say, uh, how much I get for working one hour? Or if you are salary, it's another thing. Now, you accept that. Now, when you accept the money, it means all your future is limited to that money you accept it's not the it's not the employer who um, tries to make you work for him like a slave for all your life no it's you who wants to be like a slave or job because what does it mean uh, when you can when you say slave or something just just the word because you don't want to change you don't want to, to take your future responsibility on your behalf you let it to others you know all your future is based on that guy who is your manager or is your uh, who is your above you all your life in terms of money that's why it's dangerous I don't think there are millions of people here in America or everywhere in the world they don't understand this that these guys in uh, you do a mistake or you don't do a mistake you get fired you get fired you are in the street okay oh you say no 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 i'm not i'm not going to be fired i'm good i'm i do my job but yes but you know but some companies when they get trouble they cut 
some salaries or some hourly rate, they cut them because they can't, they can't work like this because they lose business. Okay? So, what will you do with $1 million? If you tell me, I'm going to do business. This is the right answer for me. Now, for you, I don't know. If you say, give me this $1 million, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me because I know how to do with money. I know. And you begin just spending. By next year, I ask you the same question. How much is left? You say nothing. Okay? You have nothing. Because you are, you have spending mine. And this $1 million, what is it? You buy a house with $200 or $300 or $500. Big house. You find a nice car. And you begin to turn around like this. You spend what is left. And then by the end of the year, you have nothing. Even the house that you have, you bought it, you will, you will s s sell it, or it will be foreclosure because you can't pay, the more, or you can't pay uh, taxes or you can't pay nothing. Okay? So, the idea of this video is just uh, to think about your future in terms of money because all my channel is about money. About trading, about swing trading, about investing. It's all about money. So, when you do business, even the, even the IRS gives you a lot of breaks than when you are not in business. Think about this. Your paycheck or your salary. Does the IRS cut all uh, the percentage they need from, from your paycheck. Check your paycheck. Yes. Now, why they don't do like a business? They say, next year, uh, you, will, you will pay uh, your tax. Why, the, why, if you have a company, you don't pay tax until next year? And when you are in a job, you pay it right now. In each paycheck, in each money you, you get, they cut their money. Now, you ask yourself, why? Because the IRS knows that you have, that since you have a job, you have a spending mentality, spending man. That's why the, the government knows the, these two kind of people that I am explaining. And you don't, you don't, um, you don't imagine that. For example, the tax in your mortgage. Okay? The property tax. For those, for the, for the uh, states that they have. Property tax. For your home. Why? The bank always asks you for this money each month. But in real, in real life, this money is sent to the IRS at the end in December. So why they cut it in January, February, March? All this money they cut, they do business with it, but they don't give you nothing. It's just because they don't trust, the IRS don't trust people having jobs. She's always scared of these people because they can't keep their money safe. Okay? They don't, they, so the government knows about this kind of people, spending people, lazy people. Okay? You, you see, the IRS or the government looks at two people not the same way if you have having business you say well this guy knows what he's doing he's into business we give him one year and then the next year he will pay tax i don't care about him he's he seems mature person now you you have a job what what does the government say i say no i don't trust this guy i should take my money right now so your paycheck is always cut uh, federal, state, I don't know what the other stuff. Okay, right now, why do you, since, since you are working a job, why the government says, for example, next year you're, uh, you, you, you pay the tax as everybody else, as the businesses? They say, no, we need this money now. Although, although the tax is done by, by one year to the other year. So why you cut now? Those people who have a, a, a week paycheck or two uh, or bi-weekly paycheck or one month salary or something, they say, why? Why 
the IRS or the government cuts your money now, not next year, and they ask you for money. Because the government knows that next year when they ask you some thousand dollars, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand, whatever is your money, okay? They know that you will have trouble with you. Why? You told them, no, I don't have money. I spent everything. Okay? So, that's it. That is the game I'm, I'm, I'm always trying to, to explain to you. That you should be one of the two. Either you should be a person that who is thinking about business, or a person who is thinking about spending money and laziness. Not to change. Just, okay, do your job, your, your hours of job. When you get out, it's done. You have done your responsibility. You have done everything in your life. Okay, here the fun begins. Okay? Play games or, uh, or uh, Facebooking with other people or, or going watch movies or going to a restaurant and eat or wh whatever you want to do just to spend what is left of your money. By the end of the, uh, the paycheck, you have nothing. And then if you get fired, you will have the real problem that you will, you will go nowhere. And you will ask help from the government. Okay? So this video is just um, a notice. Just a way to make you think. There is no impossible things in life. It means when you, whenever you have an idea of business or something just try it don't say don't speak to your friends about ideas about business because the most important people in life is your most of the time your friends will stop you from thinking in business if you want to do business say, oh no all these people fail oh, who, who, who succeed in business I see thousands of companies fail each year uh, it's in the news it's so they want to stop you from thinking right. Okay? You can, start, uh, you can start slow. Okay, you have your own job. You start a business. When the business grows and you can make it, you can just, uh, uh, you just uh, resign and then you go to your business. Okay? So it's, it's something that, that, that it is in our life and we should think about it. Now, if you, you don't want and this is your life, and okay. You are from the second kind. Stay there. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to uh, to have this question in your mind. Okay. So uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you have uh, comments, just comment. Uh, questions, just ask any question. Thumb it up or subscribe to my channel if you don't. Thank you very much.